Bismillah. Hey, and welcome back to the iLife Academy coaching podcast. This is Abdul Shaheed, and we are on episode 13 of the podcast. And funny enough, I had this conversation recently about what does a coach do? What does a life coach do? Or what do coaches in general do? I had this conversation with someone who didn't really understand and uh and i thought to myself hey you know like i've been talking i've been sharing this uh coaching podcast and i've actually not talked about coaching itself so here's the thing here's a question to ask that people are asking is life coaching or coaching generally just this new fad some something that's in right now that's come out of nowhere and uh, it's become common amongst people. And uh, is that what it is? You see, coaching, um, the, the term, it's not even, even the term isn't new. I mean, it, originally it started with, uh, you know, s- sports coaches. But actually, um, coaching in the original sense of the word is more of a, a mentoring relationship that two people have. And it's about bringing two minds together to create like something amazing and you see the people that are often you know traditionally the people that would take the coaching are top performers high performers like sports people or politicians or people in leadership and they would have coaches who would help them to to polish up and become the best that they can be but here's the thing about coaching when I talk about coaching I'm talking about something totally different and uh, I don't really call myself a life coach. However, um, depending on what your needs are, depending on what you, you know, what the challenges are, what the goals you're trying to achieve are, um, the life you're trying to create, depending on what that is, um, you know, the coaching can be very different. Sometimes it's business coaching. Sometimes it's personal coaching. Sometimes it's transformational coaching. Sometimes it's actually therapeutic coaching. And uh, when I say therapeutic, I'm, I'm, I'm talking specifically coming from an Islamic psychology background. I'm talking about Quranic intervention, right? Quranic intervention therapy is something that is based on the science of ilm al-nafs, like uh, the, the science of the, of the nafs. And, and this is all about clearing away, you know, trauma and, you know, mental, psychological challenges that we're, we're facing because of something that's that we've experienced along the way um so let me get back to the coaching you see w- people are wondering people are often and they're asking right they're asking what is this all about what what do you do is this like a is this like the new age therapist and uh and you know the question is the question is a little simple because uh, some coaches um they do accountability some coaches um, they they focus in on you know one one area of life um, you know be it um, your mindset being parenting be it uh, marriage or divorce or you know emotional resistance whatever it is like there are different types of coaches right so what I'm going to share with you in this um, in this podcast what I'm going to share with you is what does it look like to be a coach from a background in um, in Islamic psychology and and when I s- talk about Islamic psychology I'm not talking about a, sci- a traditional psychology that fits into um, an Islamic framework rather what I'm talking about is the psychology as it is described by um, by Allah in the Quran and the Sunnah right so we're coming to psychology through theology and uh, and you know, this is a this is a science of the religion. Uh, this is a science of the deen, and it's always been there. In in recent times, it's it's taken a bit of a back seat, but it's always been there, right? So, what is it? What does it look like to to come to the world through the science um, that actually tells us how we experience life? It is you know, it's a combination of you know spirituality. It's a combination of your your psychology and your physiology it combines all three and this is why it's called the science of the of of the nafs 
because it combines everything to do with the person right and, and the well-being of the person be it their psychological well-being or physical well-being right or spiritual well-being without the three of them like we're we're incomplete so let's 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 get into this i want to talk to you about the pros and cons of coaching and uh and life coaching generally um but here's the thing if you are someone who's already a coach or a therapist or you know like a, some sort of uh um help worker then this is going to be of interest to you um if you're if you're a clinician this will be of interest to you and if you're interested in actually um seeing whether or not this could actually help you in your challenges in life then this podcast is going to help you inshallah to understand exactly what what's going on and uh, and all of this is going to be based on um it's all based on the quran and sunnah um and of course it's based on the science of of the, of the nafs and uh, and we'll talk a little bit further into that so let me give you a background on myself just so that you know um you know i've i've had this uh, lifelong desire to master my you know you know the human behavior of sciences right um and it's all to do with me personally um it's about living according to my purpose living an optimal life and uh, and being a high performer right being a high performer um performing at, in every area of your life is really important right it's is is for me especially it's it's about actualizing my potential right it's not about being someone else it's not about um creating a life that resembles someone else's life but it's just about showing up in life and being able to be the best possible you now how do we do that because you know you know just like i do that many of us we struggle through life right we struggle with the different things that happen to us the circumstances in our lives and these things they often knock us they knock our confidence we start to lose you know we start to become overwhelmed we may feel anxious we may feel you know some of us even get panic attacks everyone has different challenges right and not everyone you know has those challenges but sometimes it's a challenge of how do you break the glass ceiling you've achieved a level of success in your life but it means that the rest of your life has become imbalanced right you're a leader in your field but in your home like everything's crumbling right and uh, and so this is you know this is something this is something of a, of a science isn't it it's the science of the human the human being and that's why um when we talk about ilm and nafs we're talking about the science of the nafs the science of the of of the self you right so as i said the background of myself is that i've been without giving away my age i've been around for a little while and for the past 25 years um starting off in the corporate world um many years in the corporate world in a business development background business consultancy building sales and marketing um working in uh, technology working in um working in different different industries and and then move there, there came a point where i want i wanted to uh live a more purposeful life for myself that is and uh and i wanted to move away not move away from the 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 money the cars and the lifestyle and all that stuff but really about living my life according to um the purpose like few things happened like you know pr- which were pivotal in my life and they got me thinking and they did more than that they they literally um shifted my my perspective on life and i began to look much closer at my purpose and uh, and i went through some you know very very difficult challenges and uh, out of those challenges was born the desire to um pursue and understand fully my purpose in this world and uh, and that took me on a spiritual journey on a journey of uh, seeking knowledge and understanding uh, which took me to uh, you know the old dusty corridors of uh, al azhar the islamic seminary in 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 egypt originally in in uh, in alexandria and then then down to cairo um so my my journey with the quran and the islamic sciences um although it began in the uk 
where I'm from, but it happened. It you know it really flourished while I was over there, and um, and I've been going coming back and forth, and uh, really that's where it all started. But then you know, as I say, I've been on the journey for a while, and with with your um, with life, you know, we have responsibilities, and uh, some of those responsibilities, you know, family, parents, stuff drove me back to uh you know what i needed to be doing and uh and being back in the uk and i set up an academy i set up uh you know teaching uh some of the sciences that i'd learned and uh and really this whole psychology um drive has been there with me from you know from a very young age and uh studying psychology studying physiology you know i'm a bit of a researcher in that in that sense um but of course doing doing courses and training and stuff like that so you know that's that's my background in a nutshell right um so the psychology the theology and and the business background um it spans over you know more than 25 years um now that's come to a head and over the last 6 years um w- where the coaching you know what's the connection you're probably wondering what is the connection to coaching here and here's the thing you see i train coaches like i train coaches i coach myself and of course like within that there's there's the the chronic intervention which is the therapy and we do this working with people and their needs whether that the whether that is a spiritual need whether that's a, like psychological or or something in the material world in, you know in terms of money and business right you know client acquisition all these sorts of stuff now in the whole process in the whole process what i've come to realize is that you know often what you find is that people when they come into coaching they feel as though they you know they're starting afresh like it's all it's all new to me like i i've got to go on a certification and uh, and i get certified as a coach and that's it i'm a, i'm a new coach but that's not how it works you see what i what i find and especially with with my coaches who i train and uh, with my clients who go through their own personal transformations like what i find is that you have a background you've got a wealth of knowledge you've been a leader in your field or you've done exceptionally well in you know building your 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 life your family and all of the things that you've done like you have a wealth of knowledge and when you bring that to your work it makes your work now of course you like you know coaches need to be trained and one of the problems in the coaching industry now is that anyone can be a coach you know the 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 the, the bar bar of entry is so low anyone could call themselves a coach but at the same time at the same time even though that's not that's not a great thing um it means that there are people within the industry who bring into it like a wealth of knowledge experience and background and they go into different niches different areas and they serve in those areas but what they need is what they need now is that they need to bring that all together and they need the coach training they need to know how to actually coach people because look coaching in the traditional sense is really leadership back in the old days like uh, you know today like in the corporate world everyone wants to bring in they want to bring in coaches like you know change manage management coaches um agile coaches they want to bring in different types of coaches to to help the the transformation of a business whereas previously you know this this would have been under some some type of leadership role a management consultancy role right whereas today it's 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 you know the coaches that do this right and it's and it's managed the whole transformation within a business is managed that way and i'll tell you why because look you know an an organization is nothing but a collective of human beings so the transformation doesn't happen on the bricks and the mortar it happens with the people it's the people that transform and when the people transform the business transforms and just like that when you work on a personal basis when the people transform 
then the home and the family transforms, the relationships transform, a person's mind transforms and their life transforms. So when when I say that I come from this background of the classical Islamic sciences, like uh, really that's where the psychology is coming from because the psychology is based on you know the design of the designer. And, uh, and this serves as a basis for my training and the, tra- the training that I give to my, to my coaches, right? So what is, what is a life coach? Let's talk about a life coach. What is a life coach? A, life, a coach in my mind is someone who helps people to overcome challenges or become the very best versions of themselves and, and or to create a life that they've only been dreaming of up until now. And coaching can happen in different formats and as i said already you find people who identify themselves in in a niche such as um, life coaching which is very general or marriage coaches mindset coaches trauma coaches you know parenting coaches emotional resilience nutritional coaches digital marketing six-figure business coaches i mean the list just goes on right the list goes on so you've got all types of coaches and uh, and and they're all very different Right? But what's important is the results that they can bring into your life. And it is very powerful, the results that coaches create. You see, I, I once heard a coach say that, you know, therapy is about the past, dealing with the past, which is, you know, which often may, you know, is very much the case, right? It's about dealing with the past and, and creating a better f- present right that's how a therapist would put it right um and uh, and coaching is about the future and that's how it was put but here's the thing the kind of coaching that we do like the kind of coaches coaching that I do and my coaches do is that we coach the past present and the future and when i mean we coach the past present and the future the past you know it is like you only have to go so f- you don't have to trawl through every detail of your past and relive everything like all of the trauma that you experienced you don't have to continue to relive those things in order to uh, resolve them i know that that's what some of the modalities of psychology do um, but you don't have to do that like there's there there are much more effective ways of resolving these issues without having to you know go through every single Uh, detail and make you relive all of that that you don't want to even think about right Um, so the kind of coaching we're talking about transformational coaching the you know islamic transformational coaching is not based on that and as for um, the present that's what's real right that's what's real that's what's going on now and through working in the present in in the right now like we create the future and we create the future in in a way that we can't imagine it right in a way that you can't imagine it and that's why we say that you know you know like when i say the six figure business coach like some people they you know that kind of gets them incest a little like they 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 get a little worked up like you know it's not all about the money coaching is about helping people and absolutely that's exactly what it's about that's the prime goal our focus is to is to help people to better themselves and to improve the quality of life right and by by default by doing that you create um, a much better environment for everyone to live in right but let's be real let's be very real like you cannot live without material things. You can't live without it, right? And um, and here's the thing. The, the truth is that coaches, they make good money. Not all coaches make good money. It depends on what they can deliver, what results they can deliver. But coaches can make anything, you know, from anything from, you know, rock bottom all the way up to 100,000 um to you know even to a million there are there are coaches that make in in the millions right so the thing is it is really down to what they deliver the results they deliver and you know the niches they're in so back to coaching i don't want to focus on the money but back to coaching um you know 
co- what what do coaches uh let's i mean the question i want you to think about is uh you know in your mind what is a coach meant to do if you had a coach in your life or if you were a coach yourself and you trained up what would you want to do and so what i tell you what i think and what i teach is that we help to improve the quality of life that's our goal is to facilitate that to facilitate the improvement of the quality of life and that is through transformation and it's you know to help people to create a life of less fear or no fear i mean no fear is not realistic but to have a life that is not crippled by fear and anxiety a life without constant overwhelm without the past experiences and trauma holding you back because that's what happens to a lot of people they're held back by the past experiences right and um coaches help you to create balance they help you to get past procrastination to take action because you know a lot of people they have great difficulty in taking action and ultimately to achieve your wildest dreams and those dreams that most people think are impossible you know having a coach helps you to create that so coaching helps you to become the highest performer that you can be it's not that you have to better yourself and become something that you're not you you already have that potential it's just about shining when you can it's about polishing and bringing out that shine and coaches will help you to get over this obsessive you know doubtful thinking that sabotages your progress and 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 even better than that like you have had success already in some areas of your life but you want success in the different areas of your life and a lot of times what i find with high perform high performers is that they have this this um glass ceiling they've achieved in so many different things but there's there's this glass ceiling they they feel they can't get past like they've reached so high and it's like they're being held back and what we do is that we help them to break that glass ceiling and get beyond whatever they thought was possible and the kind of coaching that i train my clients on helps you to get so deep that you transform your life from the very core of your being that's the goal that's the goal and that's why we call it ilm an nafs like the the knowledge of the nafs the knowledge of the self like it is beyond your body like getting right down to the core helping you f- to change from the inside where the whole of the exterior everything outside of you changes and when you can get into that place inshallah when you get into that place you become who you already are behind all of that stuff that's holding you back and the, and the true superpower in your life your own life your own self it starts to appear and and you gain your independence your autonomy and you have no need for anyone except your creator and you know when i say something like that and i've i've said stuff like that to people and it's they're like wow that sounds that sounds too good to be true i mean is that really possible i get questions like that and and here's the thing it's absolutely possible it's absolutely possible by the permission of allah right why so like why should you get into coaching yourself like if you're listening to this you're probably someone who's already a coach right you're probably someone who's already trained in in different modalities and you're thinking like why is this any different you see people get into coaching for different reasons but here let me give you i'm going to give you like three reasons like why this kind of coaching transforms lives why it will transform your life and the lives of your clients and uh but i'll explain why i mean i'll explain why um based on my own life right i'll explain why based on my own life 
and uh, and the reason being most coaches therapists change workers they resonate with these reasons not because it's something to do with me but it's something that they themselves have 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 experienced or want to experience so the bottom line is we want to do meaningful purposeful driven work like purpose driven work like you want to be you want to live in alignment with your purpose of life and i personally have that desire to help improve the human condition right now that can be done in different ways everyone does it differently but this is the way we do it and we align with our purpose and that means that you can live doing the work that you are passionate about like living you know your authentic desires not things that society is throwing at you and we all have purpose right we all have purpose and that purpose of course like we have the the most fundamental purpose of life which is which is uh, to connect to connect to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala right however how you how that manifests in your life how your purpose manifests in, in your life um, for everyone it's different so here let me give you you know what people generally want and uh, generally you know this is from my own experience but what what is it that people want from a career in coaching and number one like me personally i wanted to create an impact on people's lives like to help them overcome challenges spiritual psychological and physiological right because the three are connected in ilm al nafs the three are connected now if 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 i can facilitate that change just for one person one life just one time that would add to the ch- to the change of the world and if if every one of us could do just one even if it was ourselves and that was it that would change the face of the earth and i mean look this kind of work it really creates an impact and you're doing that while you're serving your creator and you're helping humanity and ultimately that is a legacy that is a legacy so number 2 to have time freedom to be able to work when when i want to work so you want to do this because you want to be able to work when you want to work and have the flexibility to base your work around your family your home to have complete autonomy you decide and you see that's a freedom that so many people don't have you see freedom from time restraints and location restraints is a basic freedom that most people struggle to gain and when you have a boss uh, a manager or a job you know that you're dependent on being you know being in the corporate rat race for many many years and i'm not knocking it because there's nothing wrong with it being in the in, in a job there's absolutely nothing wrong with it but being in that situation for many years it for me it made it very difficult and sometimes impossible to manage my life in the way that i could spend quality time with my my family and you see this freedom is one of the most valuable things that i have ever experienced and you know having worked in the corporate world you know back in those days like leaving leaving home at 6 a.m. 6:30 and then getting back from work at 8 9 p.m. at night every day of the week like that was a norm and so you know your life becomes about work and i get it like we have to do that but for me like i truly value that freedom of not having those restraints alhamdulillah now i understand not everyone in the corporate world works that way but for me in in the kind of business i was in client acquisition business development like dealing with people consultancy building all of these things 
Like, you know, in the sales and marketing world, like, you work long hours, right? And now it's not just in the sales and marketing, but general management, senior corporate life, that's how it works. The more you earn, the more you work. And uh, if you're in that life, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So life revolves around, like, your career moves. And, uh, and that was always, for many, many years, that was my life. And don't get me wrong. As a coach, I work hard. I work hard. I work exceptionally hard. And, but I absolutely love doing what I do because I feel that it, it aligns with my purpose in life. And it's what I want to be doing, right? It gives me the time freedom, location freedom, and of course, the financial freedom. So showing up every day to this work is the same as showing up to your job. But you have the choice of when you sharp, how you sharp, where you sharp. As long as you know how to grow that business. And that's something that obviously I train my, 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 my coaches. But look, you know, the main thing is like we go back to these are benefits that we have as a coach. These are, these are the major benefits. And these are the things that people love about coaching. Because it gives you that autonomy. It gives you that freedom. It gives you that, that, the abundance that you're looking for. But mostly for me, like it, it is absolutely about impact and legacy. About creating, you know, creating a ripple effect in the world of good deeds. Creating a ripple effect in this world that will see you all the way through to the Akhirah. And for me, that is super important. So the third one, which I've already mentioned, is is the the financial freedom, the money freedom. And yes, that is a struggle for some people, right? When they think about that, they shy away. But the fact is, we all need to live. And beyond living, we need to thrive. We need to grow. And when you're constantly eating humble pie, you might tell yourself, I don't need that much. I don't want that much. But the truth is that it is a basic necessity of life. And I've seen it when I've spoken to people in discussing money with them and they get shy about the money. And when they get shy about the money, they say, well, I only need this much and I only need that much. But the truth is, it's all relative it's relative to, you know, you and your life. And someone else may look at you and feel as though you are very wealthy, whereas someone else may look at you and f- feel as though you're not. So really what you want is what you want. And the fact is, all of humanity, all of humanity have been created on this natural disposition of having desire for the dunya. Like we absolutely love the dunya, and I like I know that sounds a little bit difficult to deal with, so let me give you a verse that gives us that clarity. In uh, Surah Al Kaf, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, "Bismillahirrahmanirrahim." Al malu wal banuna zina tul hayat al dunya. Wealth and children are the adornment of the life of this world. Wealth and children are the adornment. That means that we have this natural desire and inclination towards these two things. They beautify our lives for us. I mean, hey, who doesn't love to be able to have what they want, big or small? Like whether it's big, a big thing you want or a small thing you want, you still love to have those things, even if you think they're modest, to live in a spacious accommodation, to have the ability to have children and to spend your wealth on your family. To give your family the best that they, you, know, you can give them. Who doesn't want that? We all want to give our families the best of the dunya and the akhirah. And so we strive to do that. So yes, coaching gives you financial freedom. And it can give you an abundance. Um, so that's something that you know, you know, many careers may not give you. 
right now you you know i don't want to talk about what you can earn but as i said already you know coaches earn mid five figures to you know six figures and way beyond but the truth is you know a lot of coaches don't actually make that because they 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 don't know that you know they get lost in in the they get lost in the whole marketing world and you know all the shiny objects and they lose their way and they make the whole process so overcomplicated that they find it very difficult to achieve and it becomes very overwhelming people become overworked and they become their own worst boss i mean they are their own boss and they they are like slave drivers of themselves and this happens to so many people like you know not just in the coaching business in the general general entrepreneurs this happens people become their own worst boss and i speak from experience by the way so just to finish off like i want to i want to just tell you look you know coaching is a great career if you want to have impact on the world if you want to have impact on your own world your own life like you can you can absolutely have the life that you want create the life that you want and it gives you that it affords you that ability it gives you time freedom it gives you place freedom location freedom and it gives you financial freedom if you can get the business part right so having the business part right is essential and obviously as i say you know like when i'm training my 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 coaches like we we are very much focused on a holistic way forward and that includes like setting yourself up that includes you know the money mindset and that includes beyond the mindset to actual strategies that help you to create the business that you you want and earn the income that you want and there you know although as i already said that you know a lot of coaches don't earn a lot but there are others that earn a huge amount and they earn what they need or what they want right and there's always a better way and uh, simplicity is the key most people overcomplicate it and they make it difficult so if you're interested in finding out more about what i'm talking about go to quranic connection .tv and uh, you will find on there like different programs like free programs paid programs but you will find on there definitely train training for you know certification uh, for coaches for therapists for people who want to become change workers or who are already change workers but they need to learn how to create a business and uh, you will find how to become like a holistic coach you know transformational in your own life as well as other people's lives like i always say to my 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 people like you can't give to others what you don't have you cannot give to others what you don't have so you have to go through those changes you have to grow through your comfort you know barriers i don't want to call it comfort zone because it's just a barrier that stops us and uh, you can do all of that whilst living your dream enjoying your time your family and uh, and living according to your purpose and look maybe you're not ready for that like many of us we we have baggage right we have baggage and uh, things that we struggle with throughout our lives and experiences that have shaped us up until now and if you're still struggling with some of those challenges and you really just want want to clear those things away before you could even consider you know a career in coaching or or having an impact on the world like i've been talking about like you want to go through the emotional mastery program right the emotional mastery program is something that will set you up like it will it will set you you set yourself up and it'll give you clarity in your life it'll give you the confidence the self belief like loving who you are and being comfortable in your own skin and uh, that's something that is achieved through your connection to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this is all a journey with the Quran and the sunnah there is you know of course like uh, you may be coming from a particular modality of psychology but you know the ultimate the ultimate solution lies with the designer 
of your psychology. And uh, when you find that, you're going to find a permanent solution, not just a coping strategy. They're all good things. But I'm saying if you want a permanent solution. So this is a journey with the Quran and it's the most beautiful journey. Alhamdulillah. And it doesn't matter where you are or how you feel, like how, how bad you feel or how great you feel, like you can create far beyond what you think is possible. So I'm going to leave you on that note. Jazakumullah khair. Until the next uh, episode. Assalamu alaikum.